cutest and Serena, commonly known as Goosebumps, have no purpose. Or at least that's how it seems. So why do we get Goosebumps? Goosebumps are a vestigial reflex, meaning that they have lost their ancestral function in our species. However, back when we were primates, Goosebumps purposely occurred for two reasons, being cold and having extreme emotions, some of which include fear, nostalgia, pleasure, arousal, awe, admiration, and euphoria. So why do we get Goosebumps in what seems like two totally separate cases? Well, just as Goosebumps have two causes, they also have two purposes. When the body is cold, the erect pili muscles located at the base of each hair follicle contract, making the hair erect. In response to this involuntary reflex, the skin bunches up, creating what we know as a goosebump. In return, an extra layer of insulation is created, maintaining the body's temperature. Since humans don't have a lot of hair nowadays, this once essential reflex now serves us no purpose. On the other hand, when we experience a strong, stressful emotion like fear, our sympathetic nervous system pumps adrenaline through our body, once again starting the goosebump reaction, formerly known as the piloerection reflex. Although the same reflex is occurring, it now occurs for a different reason. When the hair stands erect, the human now appears bigger, a trait useful in intimidating predators. Today, goosebumps are more of a nuisance than they are help, but ultimately we still have them because humans haven't evolved to get rid of them. Thank you for watching Science Saturday's first video. If you enjoyed, be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. Next week, we'll be looking at why animals have tails.